Hello Cancer, this is Elijah Keating from WisdomSeekers.net and this is for February 2019th. Yeah, can you believe we're already in the second month of the year? Last year went so fast, I'm afraid this year's going even faster. Let's see what happens. Okay, and the first card I pulled was to shine. So that's a very good, good card to start out with, I believe for February and February should be a moderately easy month compared to what we're used to. Here we have maybe a few shifts and changes coming up, but it's more of a grounding month, more of a month to be grounded. So let's see what what starts out with. And the first card is Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands is a very positive card. It's a horse and rider who's in the winner's sacral. They've worked really hard and if you know anything about racehorses it's it it's a lot of work early mornings lots of lots of muscle building this and that it, it's a science but the the horse and rider they timed everything right they came in first and they're very pleased with themselves and cancer it is time for you to be happy with yourself so please feel free to be happy with yourself and the next card is the Queen of Cups. And as a woman, she's emotional, etc., etc. We, we all know what water is. But as an energy, it is intuition. It is a passive form of intuition, but it's more powerful than the other form of intuition where you go searching. This is more powerful because you get the answer come to you and you're not expecting it. So it's more likely to be correct because we don't have our our emotions, our ideas and thoughts in the way. We just sort of suddenly know something or we hear something. So it's a powerful, a powerful way of, of reading. So pay attention to your intuitions this month. Part of it is that we all are upgrading our intuitions and uh, all our gifts are being upgraded. So whatever form your intuition comes to you, pay attention to it, utilize it. That is the way to make it powerful, more powerful more and stronger. And what's behind us? Five of Pentacles. Well, Cancer, I, I've known a few Cancers in my life and they can become very despondent and, uh, and find life a little difficult. So this is in the past, and that's where it belongs, in the past. But it's also, it gives you strength to build upon new things. What's happening just below us? Three of Swords. And the Three of Swords, as a general rule, is a card of business. So something is not going quite right in business. So something it has in the, in the, in the near past not been quite right with you. And we've just gone through January. January was a topsy-turvy month. So of course it is. But it also tells you that you're becoming strong and can stand on your own two feet without anybody's interference. So even though the, when, the, when life is busy and hurtful, you know you can deal with it. You know you can stand and, and work it through. What is right in front of us? The Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups is not a card of depression, even though it looks a little bit like depression. In truth, what this card is, is it's, I know there's a way out, I just haven't figured out where it is yet. So I'm looking, I'm searching, but I'm not despondent, I'm not depressed, I'm just a little frustrated. So just a tiny bit of frustration. In your, in your mind, because you know there's a way out of the situation. You know that it's easily dealt with. And in this case, the situation could simply be that you want something more out of life and you just can't find it, which I think is probably what it is because the next card is the Hierophant. And the Hierophant, the Hierophant, as I said before, is a teacher, a very extremely well educated teacher but he's also the healer because because knowledge can be healing with its self knowledge it is very healing if you learn something about yourself and it's a truth it is healing if you learn something about yourself and it's a falsehood 
it is just the opposite of healing. It can make you feel horrible and horrendous. And somebody says, oh, you never amount to anything. You're a loser. That's a falsehood. And it makes you feel bad. But if you learn from the from the heart that you are wonderful and beautiful and that things are going to continue to grow and become better for you, that's the truth and it makes you feel better. So that is the healing card. What's coming up after that? Huh, I'm going to pull two cards. So the next card that comes up is the tower. And the tower, of course, is led after the healing card, and they're both major arcanas. The, the tower often comes with healing because when, when you learn a truth, you let go of a falsehood. And uh, the tower is letting go of falsehoods which can be very devastating if you've held them for a long time. And there's lots of falsehoods I can point out, but not everybody's ready to admit their falsehoods, so I'm not going to. But a falsehood would be that, uh, for instance, a very wacky one would be that you believed your horse was white, and everybody else says, that horse is black. And so the truth is the horse is a, is a dark-colored horse, not a white, not a light horse. So... You, you lose a, a, a belief system that your horse is white when actually it's black. As I say, wacky. But nobody's going to complain or up, be upset with that, uh, that one. So what comes after that? The Six of Pentacles. And which, what does that mean? It means things will start coming together for you. you. You will bring together pieces of your personality. You will bring... Other things will, in your life will start to come together in a very positive, happy way. You need to use your intuition. The intuition this month is huge, and 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 very very bell, very important part of who you are. The intuition that is your powerhouse, not my powerhouse, but yours. My powerhouse is sometimes I just know things, and quite often I just start talking, and for people and uh, they get their truth uh, from because I use words I don't know where why why would I use a word like that because I would never say that in reality so that's how I do it or I hear hear things sometimes but sometimes I just know things and the knowing just knowing is the most powerful form of intuition there's so many things you can do with this and so many ways of being intuitive and masterful, which is the last card, master. master. It says master your heart, but that's not the truth. You don't want to master anything unless you think of mastering as somebody who knows every in and out of it and, uh, and, and knows everything there is to know about a subject, as in they have mastered it, but... You do not want to be the one in control. You do not want to be the big master. Never. You always want to allow. You always want things to move smoothly. And when you do, you will shine. And uh, so this month is a month of grounding, like I said, because everything in here is very low key. It's not not raw, raw, raw. You're going to you're going to except for except for maybe losing a belief system or two. Or one, <laughs> your things are not going to be crazy, crazy for you. Take the time, enjoy as much as you can of this month, because uh, the 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 grounding, that's where you look, get your building blocks from. When you can be grounded and grow, that's where where you start to to broaden your base because you want a huge base to grow from because it's like this, right? A pyramid. Everything everything on the grounding, you need it needs to be solid, it needs not to to be it needs not to be like this for instance. Okay? So they're all th different sizes. They need not to be like that. They have you want them to be all 
like that. So there's so that not, one thing isn't down here, so you trip over because it's not balanced. You want it all to be level. So you want your grounding to be very beautifully in place so that when you step on it, you know that it's the truth. You absolutely know that it's not going to fall out from underneath you. And you can build and build and build into the point where, well, you get to a point where every truth is exactly the same. The lower levels, every truth is not exactly the same. But for, with that, we will go and... Sorry about the ramble. Namaste.